If yeah. population goes up 50%, why doesn't everything go up at 50%, yeah, right. right? And so I, I look at that and then I try to suppose reasons why that might occur. And so this yeah. is the way my mind works. I just go through it. And, and I, so this to me is a thought exercise. I got some facts. Now can I create a narrative or story that makes sense to me with what I know that yeah. would tie those facts together? And that yeah. to me is, is a fun exercise to do. Well, that is what you've described is the scientific method, actually, because you take a set of facts and you basically take, uh, I'm going to call it an educated guess. I think they call it a hypothesis technically, right? Mm -hmm. And you're like, okay, therefore, this should be true. Now let me go run an experiment to see if this is actually true or not. Yes. And of course, I can't run an experiment. But what I can do is delve deeper and start looking for specific facts that either refute or prove what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And if I'm doing this right, I should also try to refute my information. I should be trying to break it as well. Yeah, because here's the thing. Let's say, for instance, you say something is true, right? 100% true. All I have to do to completely break that whole thing is find one case where it's not true. And your whole house comes down. Until I find the reason why that wasn't true. Because usually there's some variable that actually caused it. If I can isolate it, I can refine my theory to actually yeah, prove right. Right. that, right? But I'm saying that stated theory you have, that is yes. now broken. It's no longer correct. true, right? Correct, correct, correct. Because to me, definition, true means true in every single possible scenario. Yeah. And that's no, why I, I think you start putting constraints on things. It's like you say, well, this is true as long as, you know, um, it's within this box, right? As long as we put yep. these constraints around.